Hello everyone, it's Lel. And I know, I'm sorry, I know I'm a little late, but I'm here today to talk about episode 31 from Delicious Party Precure, which was a very surprising and kind of different episode than what I was expecting at least, but it was a lot of fun. Before we start talking about the episode itself, I just have to say that when Delicious Party started, and we saw those first 10-ish episodes that were heavily focused on the characters and the story. I thought that Delicious was going to be more of a serious toned season. But I was very wrong. This season is actually mindless fun. Like this episode. I feel like this episode kind of embodies what Delicious Party is right now. And I've enjoyed it. I have a little problem with episodes that don't have a fighting scene, but I am so tired of the delicious field that I was happy that we didn't see it again this episode. So that was not a problem for me. And also, we were waiting for a Yui episode for a while, and I feel like this episode really delivered in Yui's department. You know, it really showcased Yui as a character. But there's another thing I love about certain episodes of Precure, which I think this one uh, falls into this category, which is when we have an episode that everybody gets to shine, everybody gets a chance to showcase their personality. This episode did just that. Yes, the focus was a little bit more on Yui and Princess Maida, but everybody had their own chance of shining. Amane was a key point of the episode. We see Kokone uh, showing how much she feels, how much she relates to the difficulties that Maida has in speaking in public. Uh, Ran with her energetic ways and wanting to show Oishina Town to the princess. Mari with their own ways of, you know, trying to keep everything under wraps. And even the mascots. Kome Kome helping Yui as she always does. Um, Pum Pum thinking of uh, Kokone in a princess dress. I loved that moment. And even Men Men being a bodyguard. Those little things, like, they are just little details. I just love them. And we even had Amane's brothers appearing again. And I love every time they appear. I'm like, yes, queens, I love them so much. And they were talking about parfaits, which is interesting because it is Amane's uh, food. It's Cure uh, Finale's food, the food that represents her. And what they were talking about the parfaits and when they were trying to explain it, I feel like they were, in a way, talking about their sister, even though they were kind of like saying this to praise themselves, but they were kind of talking about Amane. So I feel like episode 31 had a lot of soul and I had a blast watching it. This episode had lots of funny moments, lots of little gags, and I feel like they were able to connect the, the story of Princess Maida to the overall theme of Delicious Party. They connected her with Monpei, Takumi's father, you know, and how she uh, looks like Yui and why she was there. She even brought a Manekineko back to Oishina Town, which is something that is always around. The Manekineko was a little different than the, the one we usually see. I don't know if that has some sort of... Uh, impact or there's a reason for that. Maybe it's Shinada's uh, cat and Shinada is not from Oishina Town. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know. He is from Cook Kingdom. I don't know if that's supposed to be a reason or something or if that's just because it has lots of different designs and we just haven't seen them yet. But I really liked this Princess Switch theme. I also liked following Maida's story and how she has this hard time speaking in public because there is a lot of pressure into what she is going to say because, well, she is a politician in a way. She is a big figure in her country. And at the same time, we see how she is not able to enjoy daily things. And that is why she and Yui change places so that Maida could enjoy things and Yui could stay at her uh, place, in her place for a little while. We can see Yui's personality really shining through uh, when she is in Maida's spot. And I feel like the biggest thing about this is that 
Two people that are very close to the original ones were able to spot the differences and know they were not the real ones. Uh, we have Genma, who is the butler of the princess, and he noticed very quickly that it was not the princess, that it was Yui, and Takumi was the one who noticed that Princess Maira was not Yui. It was someone different. He just didn't know who, he, who she was, but he knew he spotted the difference right at that moment. And, you know, Maya's spot as the princess uh, being debatable and she, uh, her having this cousin that wanted her spot is also very, it, it's also obviously very simplified, but it played like this part of just creating a little conflict for the episode. So I don't feel like that is a big problem. And the way they connected the Precure part to the episode was also very interesting. I really liked it because we could see how Maida thinks it's important, like her speeches are important, but not only that, everything she does, she studies a lot, she tries things very hard, she takes her position as a princess very seriously, and uh, as when Maida was Yui, she was also able to remember the things she loves the most, which is eating and food and sharing which is the theme of Delicious Party. So that was also something that I enjoyed watching. And the Precure portion was great because uh, when Yui was transforming into Cure Precious, Maida was listening and they were like, girl, <laughs> it was so much fun. And uh, the girl saying that uh, Cure Precious' speech was kind of like this good luck charm that Yui has, that Yui says. Maida got that with her and used that before she did her speech. That was so cute, so adorable. And the girls transforming as well to take Maida into safety, into her speech was also great. And Mari, <laughs> Mari was there with a sweat drop on their face when the girls were transforming. That was so cool. That was, that was really nice. And as I said, I am not really fond of the delicious field anymore. So having something different kind of got this breath of fresh air into the show that I have enjoyed. And, you know, it was just mindless fun. They switched places. Gemma was able to notice that the pressure that he was putting on Princess Maida was not a good thing and he was able to say sorry. And she got that groove back. She got that love back that she had for food. And now she is able to become a different leader for her people. That was also cute in the final speech. So overall, this episode, I don't think this episode is going to be something very memorable that we're going to remember forever, but it was still fun. You know, not every episode has to be the best one ever. And I feel like for a Yui episode, especially, I feel like this is going to stand out a little more because it's not always that we get those episodes that have this different feel, especially for a character-driven episode like this one. So I feel like this episode is going to stand out as a character episode because it is a little different than usual, not following the same usual formula. It's nice that they're switching it up a little bit. I don't like when we get episodes without funny scenes, but I'm willing to give this one my blessing because, you know, as I said, no delicious food for me anymore. Anyways, fun episode. Next week, it's going to be Men Men's time to shine. Men Men is going to get his own episode. And it's a good thing as well because I feel like Men Men is the most chapted character from Delicious Party. I feel like from everybody, from the main cast, Man Man, Man feels the least... Uh, how can I say this? He is the one who feels like a character the least. He just feels like a stuffed animal most of the time. So I am liking that they're giving him this time to shine a little bit more. Let's wait and see what they're gonna bring us with episode 32. Anyways, babies, this is all for now. What did you think of episode 31? I was a little away this weekend, so I don't know how people are thinking, uh, how people are feeling towards this episode. So I'm very curious to see the reception of the franchise to this. I am honestly very curious. So please leave a comment with your opinions. Let's keep talking about it. Anyways, babies, taking this little time to thank the members of the Magical Cinema channel. If you are a member, thank you very, very much for your support. If you've watched up until now, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye!